Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to more Persona 3. Now, last episode, I had some audio fuck-ups, and I apologize, guys. I hate when that happens. I really do hate when that happens. And then I promised you guys that I would make a longer episode of Persona just to make up for that audio fuck-up. So we're gonna do that right now. I was leveling up my guys in Tartars. We did pretty good. I believe I am now level 42. I got my way up to floor 122, where it is another boss. So I'm gonna try to defeat that boss in this episode. But for now, let's return to the dorm. Yes! You decide to stop exploring and return to the dorm. Whew! 22 days. I think to make a long episode, I'm probably gonna do two Hi. weeks worth of this game. It's been a while. Yes, it has been a while, Pharaohs. How you doing, my man? Sitting on my bedside. Surprise, surprise! Three seasons have passed since we met. That's it? Time goes by so quickly, and many things change. Yet some things will always remain the same. Like you being a fuckboy? Don't you agree? That's true. Everything changes. I don't know. Everything changes. Hmm. If you say so, then perhaps I was mistaken. Talking with you has stirred up certain memories. That tower, for instance. I've been thinking about it lately. Oh yeah, this is turning you on. I wonder, on. will our relationship stay the same? Or Bro, will I don't it know. Evolve? I don't even really know this guy. Like, what do you mean, will our relationship change? No matter what the future holds, you and I will be friends. Aww. That is for certain. All right, bye. I like how he never says bye. A mysterious voice rings in your head. Like he just disappears and he's like, ah, fuck it. I'm too cool to say bye. Thou art I, I am thou. We have increased the Death Arcana. Yes, because I think I do have some personas that confuse into a Death Arcana and I need to keep leveling up this social link. Your power to create personas of the Death Arcana has grown. I think, I think I also get confused with Death and Hanged Arcanas. So it might have been Hanged Arcana. Actually, now that I think about it, it probably was Hanged Arcana, and I'm just being a total fuck right now that I can't remember things at the top of my head. I've been having that problem a lot lately. There's no school today. Woohoo! Okay, what are we gonna do today, guys? We're gonna talk to our online girl. Should we? Actually, wait. Before I do that, let me see if anybody downstairs, any real person out there, wants to communicate with me, or if I'm gonna be all alone. There's no one here beside me. <laughs> Dorm mates, do you guys want to talk, Junpei? Have you ever thought of what you're living for? Yes. Wow, I never knew you were so deep. Yeah, me answering yes means I'm so deep. So deep in your mom. Uh, does anybody want to hang out? Shinjiro-san used his own money to purchase expensive dog food. Koromaro seems to really like it. Do you like it, boy? Do ya? Arf! Arf! Koromaro seems to be in a very good mood. Yay! Hooray for good moods! Oh wait, let's talk to this guy. Whether or not I fit into your battle plan is up to you. If I do, great. If I don't, whatever. I'm not gonna change my style for you or anyone else. Oh, what a rebel. I think we found our first Persona 3 hipster. Anyway, let's go check what's going on on that online MMORPG because we got to talk to our online bay. So let's play the MMORPG. Inside Lunar Vale Hospital. Maya is in the room. I went to the gym yesterday to work out. My muscles are sore, but I'm so buff. There's nothing a little endorphins won't cure, right? Or so much pain. Actually, I only went because I was so pissed at that bastard! Calm down. You're right, I should just calm down. Breathes. No, I just can't get it out of my mind! Maya seems upset. Remember that Mr. E guy? The SOB, right? I made a small error in my gradebook and now he's all on my ass. You're supposed to set an example, he told me. Shut the fuck up, old man! He thinks he's all that just because he's a history teacher, for fuck's sake. Doesn't he know who I am? I'm Maya, you old bastard! If Mr. E starts playing this game too, I'm putting him on ignore. 
You can't talk to him either, Kay. Hee <laughs> hee! Pwned! Maya is confiding in you. Your relationship is stronger now. He yes! A mysterious voice rings in your head. Why would our relationship increase? All she did was bitch at me and tell me that she's going to the gym and stuff. I mean, cool, but I don't really know more about you. I know you're a teacher. I know this Mr. E guy is a history teacher. And our power to create personas of the Herman Arcane has grown. But I don't know the real Maya, and I want to. Mr. E probably doesn't have a computer at his house anyway. He probably uses an abacus. Talk about a history teacher, Rumblecopter. Phew, much better. Maybe I'll go take a shower now. Don't worry, I won't let that old geezer get me down, Tetsuya. Maya's player signed off. You decide to log out as well. Yeah, go on and take a shower with your stank ass. I'm really curious about who this teacher's identity is. Because at first I was thinking, alright, this person has to be like some 40-year-old virgin type of person. You know, like the cliche online personality. But I'm, I mean, it is clearly a woman that is a very mad teacher. So we are going to find out very soon. You overhear a conversation. What is your class going to do for the culture festival? A haunted house? I bet I'll be stuck playing the ghost. Being a ghost isn't so bad. You can just show up and put on the costume. I have to do a magic show. By the way, did you hear a typhoon is on its way? I hear it's a big one. The school will be empty. Oh yeah, my dick is a typhoon. It's also a big one. The first bill is rung. This guy really likes to overhear conversations. My kind of guy. <laughs> I'd hang out with this guy. I'd be like, hey, go overhear those two girls talking. They talking about me? Do they want to date me? We'll be talking about nuclear fission today! Imagine a nuclear reaction in which a massive nucleus splits into smaller nuclei, releasing energy as it does. I believe you all know that much. The reaction emits massive quantities of energy, which is why it's used in nuclear power plants. You all know that Japan has three nuclear prohibitions in place, right? Let's see. Z! Oh, you're gonna call on me? I thought you are gonna call on somebody else. Which of these is not one of Japan's prohibitions on nuclear weapons? Can't produce, can't let others produce, can't allow into Japan. Okay, let me rub my chin pubes and stare into the sky like I actually know this answer. Hmm. Okay, let's say can't let others produce. Correct! We forbid possession, production, and admission of nuclear weapons in Japan. Woo! Did it, guys! High five! The third prohibition is a little controversial, but this is physics class, not political science. Now, as for nuclear fission, you gave the correct answer. Your charm has increased, even though it's already maxed out. I gotta max out Yukari in more ways than one. Hopefully we can hang out with her today. Please be here walking down the hall. Please! Ah, you motherfucker. Oh, I'm famished. I'm gonna try something special today. What, a diet? Would you like to come along? Sure. Then, I'll meet you at Palloween Mall. I assure you, it'll be worth your time. But first, I must visit the snack counter. Nozomi seems nervous. Maybe after school, you should look for him at Palloween Mall. Okay, wait, I keep calling it Palloween Mall. It's Polonia. Polonia Mall. Jay, remember that. Get it through your tiny skull. Class is ended for today. Alright, Yukari's not here. My baby girl, Igis, is sitting down looking sexy as hell. How you doing? Everyone seems excited about the upcoming festival. I have not experienced such an event before. She is still far from passing as human. It seems she is unable to understand ordinary feelings in conversation at the moment. If she were able to do that, you may be able to create a bond with her. Ah, okay. Very cryptic, but I understand what I must do. I need to develop one of my own personal skills, right? Okay, you got it, buddy. Who can I talk to? Ooh, Yukari's here. Hella mad. Ooh, what do you want? Yukari is acting strangely. Will you ask her to walk home with you? Yes, of course I will. Yeah. Um, I'll pass this time. Sorry. Yukari has declined your offer. What? I said no. Why don't you ask you know who? Oh! I don't fucked up. I don't fucked up, y'all. She knows about me and the other girl. 
Oh shit. Oh fuck no. You can't do that to my little heart, Yukari. No, 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 no. I gotta fix this, guys. I gotta go tell Yuko to suck my nuts. I can't let her be my girlfriend. Um, I think once we go over to Yuko's house, she's gonna probably ask us, hey, are we boyfriend and girlfriend? I'm gonna be like, hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't put the BFGF thing on me. We ain't any of that. Much, much, much. Hey, z -Kun. Perfect timing. Do you want to go get something to eat? I can hear my poor stomach crying sadly. It seems Nozomi wants to go eat. Would you like to hang out with Nozomi after school? It is after school, and I accept the offer. Wonderful, my gourmet friends. Then, let's go to restaurant. That's the place for you. Nozomi seems happy. Yeah, oh my god, Yukari is so mad. She was gonna be Bay. She went from Bay to Bay real quick, and I gotta fix that. Trust me, guys, I will fix it. Iwatoda Strip Mall, restaurant. You spent some time with Nozomi, eating hours away. So I had some melon pan, and then tonkatsu sandwich or two, and then a turkey sandwich, a bag of chips, and a half a BLT, but oh, that's it? I gotta have my rice. Huh. Think that's too many carbs? It pays to watch what you eat. Today, a girl in my class asked about the handsome guy you were eating with. I guess she wanted me to introduce you two so you could eat lunch with her. And without me. I guess you are like my little brother, the type of guy who gets all the girls, am I right? Well, once we're dead, we're all just bones. You can't tell a handsome skeleton from an ugly one. That is true. I like that. Ugh! Whenever I worry about that stuff, it gets my appetite going. Hey, waiter, how about one more tonkatsu special? Did you know I'm a poet? Here, I write a senryu poem before the food gets here. Pork is yummy, but in the sun, I fry too. Gosh, stomach emergency! Oh, he's gotta take a fast shit ski. He better have washed his hands. Talk about a close call. I almost didn't get there in time. Nozomi looks pale. Did you eat too much? Oh, are you sick? No, I'm fine. No worries. Nozomi seems pleased. I guess I'm normal after all. Everything except my weight, that is. That was probably more than you needed to know, huh? I'm normally not this rude. Sorry, it won't happen again. I just wasn't thinking. Nozomi seems comfortable around you. Your relationship is stronger now. Wait, 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 hold up though. You mentioned a girl said, hey, introduce me to the guy, you know, that was cute that was eating with you. I mean, you know, if you want to introduce me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna decline that. And we increased the Moon Arcana, that's good. But about that girl, you know the shame. <laughs> the Gourmet King social link has reached level four. Your power to create personas of the Moon Arcana has grown. Yay. But now, back to eating. You can't eat once you're dead, so I always say it's best to take every chance you get. Heh, <laughs> just like my little brother. After finishing your meal with Nozomi, you decide to return to the dorm. Oh man, doing Nozomi's voice. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lose my voice before this episode ends, but it's so worth it. I love doing the voices for hey. these guys. Hey, dude. Okay, um, Yukari is mad at me, so let me see if I can talk to her. Whenever I'm around Junpei, I sense a feeling of happiness. I wonder what happened to him. He's in love. Our Junpei is in love. Speaking of in love, I am gonna go to the top floor and maybe there's a recording. I know that had nothing to do with love, and I don't know why I said speaking of love. But just speaking of exploring, I am going to see if there is a new tape inside here. It's a bank of consoles. There seems to be a new recording. Hey, hey, hey. told you guys. Watch a recording? Yes. This should be good. It better be a girl, not a guy. Please. I beg you. 9-6-2009, beginning playback. You too can follow along on page 39 of this month's issue. Today we're making spicy pepper pasta. It's a great dish to keep your energy up through the summer heat. Yummy. The key ingredient is green cayenne pepper. Remember to remove the seeds first. After that, we'll prepare some kelp broth. 
You'll need a pasta cooker about this size, and... I like how Koru's, like, hella into this. Pasta cooker? Do we have one here? Oh, it's still pretty hot. It requires energy to maintain an appropriate external temperature. <laughs> we have returned. <laughs> We're home, Korachan. Oh, shh. I'd feel awful if we woke up Shinjiro Senpai. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> Koro's like, He's awake! Ruh, ruh! He says that Shinjiro-san <laughs> is not asleep. Let's go! Uh, this is too awesome. <laughs> Senpai's magazine. It's the monthly guide to the family cooking show. Does Shinjiro Senpai enjoy cooking shows? Shit, I enjoy cooking shows. Oh, that's a new issue. I didn't know this month's was out. Oh, um, it's nothing. I've just been interested in cooking lately. Hey, every guy likes a woman that can cook. That ain't no lie. Let's go. And you better be going to the kitchen. Because some cooking needs to be done. Damn it. I forgot she understands dog talk. Aww, come on, Corey. You didn't do anything wrong. You're a good boy. Huh, don't sweat it. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, boy. Next time I'll make you something too, Korachan. Aww, he hella loves the dog. That's awesome. I'm such a big dog person that anytime there's a dog in a game or someone that loves a dog in a game, instantly head to the top of my list of favorite characters. I mean, I don't really like Shinjiro's fighting style. But the fact that he loves Koru, or is like, you know, like, affectionate toward him. Because he bought him food, right? That's what Aiga said when we clicked on her earlier. Um, she said that Shinjiro bought him, like, high-quality dog food or something. And then now this recording, he was hanging out with them, and they were doing all these things. I, I just think that's really cool. What will you do? Let's study, then go to sleep? Even though I should have went to Polonia Mall and checked if the monk or the salesman were there. But whatever, I was too caught up in the moment. Your academics has increased. You're feeling sleepy. You have studied enough for tonight. That damn dog, man. Dog's always barking every night. Just doesn't know when to shut up. Hey, Z. Three left, huh? And the next one won't come for another three weeks. Man, why can't they just come all at once? <laughs> That's what she said. I see your point. That would be tough. Haha, <laughs> That's true. But with more people now, it should be easier to defeat them. I can't wait for the next full moon. Yeah, me neither, actually. I'm ready to whoop some ass. I love the fighting style here. It is turn-based, but I just love the strategy of it because it's so different from Persona 4. In Persona 4, you can control every character. In this one, you can only control one guy. So it's all up to you. And you gotta strategize the party that you bring along. Oh, I vanished. I'm gonna try something special today. Would you like to come along? Mm, not right now, buddy. I see. Then I'll savor my special meal alone. If you change your mind, I'd be happy to take you to the restaurant. But first, I must visit the snack counter. Nozomi seems nervous. Maybe after school, you should look for him at Polonia Mall. Eh, uh, maybe, but I still need to make things right with Yukari, and in order for me to do that, I need to make things wrong with Yuko. Class is ended for today. All right, let's see if Yuko, my hoe, is outside of the dough. No, she's not. This guy is, but I want to talk to her. She's a new social link. Oh, Zisan, are you on your way home? Um, would you like some company? It seems like Chihiro wants to walk home with you. Would you like to spend some time with her after school? Yeah. Um, yes! Then, um, let's go somewhere for a while. Chihiro seems happy. It's music. I love it.
Iwatoda Strip Mall. Bookworms used books. You browse through the used bookstore with Chihiro. Sorry to subject you to this. Don't worry about it. I was bored anyway. Don't worry about it, girl. If you say so, but um, thank you. Chihiro seems happy. I was so busy searching through the books. I'm sorry if I ignored you, Z-san. Um, I'm sorry it took so long. This place has so many interesting books, I was having trouble deciding. Do you read much, Z-san? I read the classics, I read manga, I read fashion magazines. I don't read every often. Hmm. So, usually you have to pick the answer that they connect with to, you know, increase the percentage of them being happy with your answer. I don't know what she likes. Does she like the classics? Does she like manga? I know for damn sure she don't like fashion magazines and she wouldn't like it if I said I don't read very often. So it's between these two. Hmm. You know what? Maybe she might like the classics. Really? I, um, didn't think you'd be into that. Chihiro seems happy. Ah, oh, it was probably manga then. The classics aren't very entertaining, but I can respect what the authors were trying to accomplish. Oh, I'm sorry. This, um, probably isn't the best place to talk. We may be disturbing other patrons. What other patrons? There's nobody here. Um, Seesan? Is it boring to hang around with, um, a nerd like me? Not really. Yeah, it's a drag. I don't care. Uh, I don't like any of these answers, but not really seems like the most logical answer. I'm glad to hear that. I've been worried about it for a while. Chihiro seems to be relieved. Today, I was able to, um, be myself with you, Zisan. That's a big step for me. Thank you. Chihiro seems grateful for your time together. Your relationship is stronger now! Yay! Hooray for talking to socially awkward people! A mysterious voice rings in your head. Alright, alright, we already know this, guys. I don't need to say it for the hundredth time, even though I'm probably gonna say it in the future. The Treasurer's Social Link has reached level two. You're proud to create personas of the Justice Arcana has grown. It seems Shihiro thinks of you as a friendly senpai in student council. Oh shit, I'm senpai! However, you're still just casual acquaintances. It's getting dark out. I'll see you in school. Goodbye. Bye. You decided to go back to the dorm. She sounds like she's like having an orgasm every time she talks. She's like, mm, oh, Baby, I love you. Hi, how was your day? It was okay. I heard that Chidori-san is starting to open up a little. However, she's still uncomfortable talking about personas. It might take a while before she's ready. Oh, okay. Oh well. We still have three shadows to worry about, so I'll concentrate on that. They'll be sorry that they ever set foot into this world. Yeah, you tell them, man. You tell them! Alright, Yukari still doesn't want to talk, huh? Whenever I'm around Junpei, motherfuck, same thing as always. Okay, I'm gonna go to Polonia Mall and see if I can raise up other social links. Alright, here we go, the sleazy salesman is here. Oh, it's you, Z. Are you free at the moment? If so, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. It seems President Tanaka wants to talk to you. Yes, let's do it. Ma, you're enthusiastic. President Tanaka seems pleased. Yes. Very pleased. Today's lesson is called, The smaller the dog, the louder its bark. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to be able to see through people's bathing suits at the beach? All the time. My, I've never seen you this enthusiastic before. Perhaps consumers would be persuaded by someone so forthright. We could position you as the boy next door. President Tanaka seems pleased. Our company has introduced a special filter for digital cameras. Simply attach it to your camera and voila! Start peeping! We've been advertising it in adult magazines. Our ad slogan is, Undress them with your camera eye. It's been selling like hotcakes. In fact, it's our number one seller! Unfortunately, customers have been complaining that it doesn't work. Oh, it doesn't work? I am so surprised. 
I told my employees to just ignore them. Nowhere does it guarantee that you'll be able to see anything, just like a Japanese penis. And it's not like anyone would actually admit they bought one. By the way, tried to cut back on the donuts and cupcakes. I have an idea for an ad campaign. Women would go crazy over a handsome young man in his briefs. I think you'd be perfect for the job! You feel like President Tanaka is counting on you. You feel like you understand him a little better now. Why is he telling me to lay off on the donuts and the cupcakes? Am I growing like man boobs or something? I mean, I know he wants me to be an underwear model, but god damn! Lay off, man. Thou shalt have our blessing when choose- Okay, Devil Arcana, yeah, we got it. The businessman's social link has reached level 4. Your power to create personas of the Devil Arcana has grown. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll paste a picture of your head on the most hideous body I could find! President Tanaka left. He would leave. I can imagine him just like vanishing into thin air. Or like maybe turning into a bat and flying away. What will you do? Let's study then go to sleep. He just seems like a sleazeball. I don't know. But I like it though. I like it. You have decided to study. I'm a weird person, man. He's a sleazeball, but I like it. Your academics has increased. You're feeling sleepy. You have studied enough for tonight. Okay. I mean, they could mix it up a little. Why are you always feeling sleepy? Like, one time you could just finish studying. And then you close the book and then you go to sleep. It's always, oh, you're studying and then you're feeling sleepy. It's like this guy can't stay awake. You overhear a conversation. Hey, did you hear? Yukari is going to dress up as a maid for a cafe in the culture festival. Wait, are you serious? Why? What happened? She drew the short straw in the archery club! She's gonna be pissed! But that's all the more reason to check out the cafe! The first bell is rung. Oh man, Yukari in a maid outfit? A French maid outfit? You know the one that's like black with a skirt? I can't wait for that. Class end for today. Alright, Yukari. I had enough of you dodging me, girl. We gotta make things right. Oh, and Yuko's there. Okay. So this is you know who that Yukari's talking about. Hey, Zikun. I was wondering what I should do since there's no practice today. It seems Yuko wants to walk home together. Would you like to spend time with her after school? Yes. We have some business to take care of. Yuko seems happy. Alright, guys. What should I do? Should I tell her straight up? Or should I let her down gently? Iwatoda Strip Mall. Takoyaki Stand. Octopia. You spent some time with Yuko. The bond between you seems to be growing stronger. Damn it! Ah, that's not what I want to do. It's getting dark out. You decide to go back to the dorm. Ugh, I wanted to tell her. Girl, you're my best friend. You're not my girlfriend. Welcome back. Hello. There are over two weeks until the moon is full again, and already the lost are increasing in number. We have to stop the shadows at any cost. Yes, I do agree with that, but Yukari doesn't want to talk to me, guys. That's making me boohoo sad. You know what? I was thinking about increasing my social link, but I also need to do all my other skills, too. So let's see what kind of games we can play over here. Right now, the games available to play are... Quiz Game, Lucky Fortune. Let's do Quiz Game. Gotta increase those academics. Gotta get that knowledge. You tested your mastery of trivia against players from all over Japan. Your academics has increased. It's getting late. You decided to go back to the dorm. Okay, I should be able to study a couple more times, and then my academics should make me a genius! <sighs> okay, I think the next time that I hang out with Yuko, it should be about that time to go over to her house, because she promised me that we're going to her house. And I really want to make things right with Yukari in this episode. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I think that's the only way I know how, is if I fuck up the relationship that I have with Yuko. You overhear a conversation. I heard that a nasty typhoon's on the way. You think we'll still have a culture festival on Saturday? Nah, I don't think so. The way they're talking, the typhoon's gonna be way too destructive. That's not good. I hope Japan doesn't become an undersea country. The first bell is rung. You know, they were talking about that. I think parts of California, like in the distant future, some of it's gonna be like under sea level, like some of it's gonna be underwater and we won't have those places that were built long ago. And that's actually scary to me. Oh, Sisan. 
Uh, hello, I, um, was thinking... Yes? Um, I, um... <laughs> if you, um, get bored, then, uh, maybe we could... Never mind, bye! Chihiro seems extremely nervous. Maybe you should talk to her after school. I mean, it's hard to talk to someone that can't even talk to you. I mean, that's not attractive to me at all. I would never go out with someone that can't even have a conversation with me. Class is ended for today. Alright, Yukari's still not here. She's downstairs. Maybe she'll say something different. I don't know. Let's check it out. Ah, Yukari's still mad! Huh? You got something to say? Yukari's acting strangely. Will you ask her to walk home with you? Yes, please! Um, I'll pass this time, sorry. Yukari has declined your offer. Damn it, why? Oh my gosh, you keep telling me to talk to you know who. You are you know who. You're my you know who, okay? Your name is etched into my heart. I love you, Yukari! I love you, girl! God damn, we gotta fix things with her. And yeah, we gotta end things with Yuko fast. You know what, guys? I'm just gonna talk to this tubby little fuck. Watch, watch, watch. Hi, J Code. Perfect timing. Do you wanna go get something to eat? Yes, I do. Let's go. I gotta eat to get my mind off this whole Yukari problem. I just... I can't wrap my head around it, guys. Like, Yukari is bae. I mean, things are going wrong. Hurry, Z! I'm dying from hunger! Yeah, I'd recognize that shrill voice anywhere. You might consider not talking so loud. I could pick you out of a lineup if I were blind. I don't have as much time to waste as you high school kids, so let's try to keep this short. My son gave you some money that was supposed to pay for his tutor. I'm tired of this whole situation, so let's resolve it and forget anything ever happened, okay? Sir, I think there's been a misunderstanding here. Your son was hiding in the park because he hates that tutor. That's why I showed him the way. You should be thanking me for saving him, if you ask me. Right, Z? Yeah, that's right. See? Z thinks so too. Izomi seems satisfied. You seem pretty calm today. What's wrong? Why don't you cower behind your friend there like last time? You see, the reason you didn't know how your son was feeling is because you don't truly understand. But don't take my word for it. Z will back me up on this one. Izomi seems to trust you. Your relationship is stronger now. Am I just completely out of the loop? What the fuck is going on here? Who is this guy? Who is this kid? What is this tutor thing? Why is Nozomi looking like he's behind me, ready to season me with barbecue sauce and eat me later? Like, what's going on here? They're proud to create Personas of the Moon Arcane has grown. It's only level 5, though? Could've sworn we've been hanging out with this fuck for a while. Look, I'm willing to forgive you, but you'll never enter paradise. People like my brother who died, or non-believers like you are forbidden from that sacred place. Talking to you gives me a headache. My son is only in elementary school, and yet I'm shocked you were able to take his money. Your parents have my sympathy. There's a lot I would have to reconsider if my son were as snowed by this cult as you seem to be. Oh, what did you just infer? I'm not stupid, sir! You're no different than everyone else. You think I should have died instead of my brother, don't you? Well, I didn't. And I'm not as smart or as nice as him either, so just deal with it. Nozomi seems pissed. Damn, kid. You have some problems. If you won't just own up to what you did, I'm just wasting my time. There are plenty of ways to resolve this. You better be careful, kid. Hang around Tubbo for too long and he'll try scamming you, too. What you do is up to you, but I'm just glad I got my son before it was too late. Best of luck. He called him Tubbo. <laughs> Sav. I don't need to put up with your allegations. Don't come back! We won! We fought that guy off! You're a good friend, and I respect that! That encounter reminded me of how hungry I am. Come on! Let's find something to eat! After eating with Nozomi, you return to the dorm. What? <laughs> what just happened there? I'm so confused. Welcome back. Hey, hey, hey! Guess what? I have to wear a maid outfit. Why me? It's just not right. I agree. I don't care. I want you to wear it. Uh, okay. I think now is the perfect time to get on her good side, so let's just agree with her, even though we'd want her to wear it. 
I'm so embarrassed. I feel like running away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Yukari. I mean, hopefully, you know, me and you get some closer relationship points. But I doubt me giving you the right answer will change anything so far. Let's see if my old pal Monkey Monk is inside of the club. Yay, he is! Oh, it's you. Mutatsu seems to be drinking by himself. Will you spend some time with Mutatsu? Yes. Heh, <laughs> what a strange kid. Mutatsu seems amused. He kind of has the same voice as Nozomi, the one that I gave him to. You feel your friendship is growing stronger as you spend time with Mutatsu. Your relationship could become stronger soon. You are feeling sleepy. You decide to go back to the dorm. Okay, well, that was a waste of time, but whatever. You overhear a conversation. Hey, have you been to the film festival yet? That theater by the station is hosting it, right? I lost count of how often I went over there during the break. I hear there's going to be another festival on the 23rd. Wanna go? Nah, I'll pass on this one. I forget what this theme is, but I remember it was all kitty. The first bill is rung. Hmm, I guess we're going to that festival on the 23rd. Class is ended for today. Yes, you should head back to the dorm. Wait, what? It says, it looks ominous, you should head back to the dorm. Oh my god, I lost my voice for a second. All that Nozomi. <coughs> yeah, close that door. You are drenched from the rain. Your body is shivering. Oh, the typhoon is coming. You weren't quick enough, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Supposedly, it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly, too, so it'll be around for a while. Yeah, thanks to that, the school festival got canned. Huh, <laughs> setting all that stuff up is a pain, so I don't mind. But it sucks that we'll be stuck indoors. So, how are you gonna spend your break? I have plans. Nothing special. I forgot we had one. Uh, let's say I have plans. Keeping busy, huh? What about you, Fuka? Me? Well, the only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Oh, a movie. Is it a date? It's... it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. She absolutely loves movies. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll be able to go. How about you, Yukatan? Will you still have practice? I doubt it. God, Yukari, please love me again. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely canceled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. What about you, Senpai? I haven't decided. Besides, what business is it of yours, Iori? Ooh, I like that. Me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she has stabilized, we cannot release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She wants me to come. Hey, tell him, Junpei. Not to brag or anything. I, uh, just thought I should check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. What's up with him? He's in love. Um, well... Oh, yeah. Kenkun, what are you going to do during the break? I'm just gonna stay here at the dorm and be a little fuckboy. Oh, uh, nothing in particular. Come on, you have to be doing something. Well, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. But that's where I always go. I guess you could say I made a vow. Anyway, I'm going back to my room. I have a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Well, call me if you get stuck. Hmm. 
I wonder what that vow is. It seems like Akihiko and Shinjiro know about that. Anything different, Yukari? I hate to say this, but I'm so happy the festival got cancelled. I mean, come on, a maid outfit? I'd rather stand outside in the middle of a typhoon than have to wear a maid outfit. Can we even go outside or nah? Oh, okay, cool. Hey, where do you think you're going, man? Forget about it. You're gonna catch a cold, dude. That's why we have coats and umbrellas. Hello. Alright, so since I can't go outside, maybe I could just go back to my room? I don't know. There's not that much to do when it's raining. Let me see. Shinjiro doesn't seem to be in his room. Junpei. Akihiko. Oh, all the guys are on one floor? I never knew that. <laughs> I thought it was just like a whatever kind of thing, like a random person's room is there. Your body is cold all over, as if you've come down with an illness. You're incredibly sleepy. You fall asleep as soon as your head hits the pillow. Oh, okay. No studying for me then. Okay. Hi guys. I have been waiting for you. I last summoned you in your dreams quite some time ago. Several seasons have come and gone since I first offered my assistance. Now then, your special power, Persona. Have you been using it wisely? Of course. Not really. Well... Of course! Hmm. So, you haven't given it much thought? To be perfectly honest, I sense a great catastrophe in your future. Oh, don't say that, man. You're making me feel nervous. But it would be a pity to lose one such as yourself unnecessarily. Therefore, please allow me to provide you with a new form of assistance. Henceforth, you shall be able to fuse four or more personas. Finally, damn. I've been fusing three, and I'm like, yo, when am I going to fuse, like, more than three? Can I do four or five? And now we can do it. Yes! I am certain that this will be of great benefit to you. New fusions are possible. Yay. But now, you must be tired. Please, rest easy. Until we meet again. Farewell. Bye, Igor. I love you. Mwah. Whoa, a few days skipped? Really? You seem to have slept for a long time. The typhoon has completely passed. Through the window, the sky looks clear. You feel refreshed. Today is respect for the age day. The holiday lasts until the 23rd. That was weird. It skipped a few days, so I slept through the whole typhoon? That must have been one crazy sleep. I probably smell like ass. Alright, so let's go outside and let's see what happens if we go over to the shrine. Alright, Naganaki Shrine, here we come. I remember there was a little girl. I don't know if she was at the shrine or somewhere else, but you guys told me I can start a social link with her. This girl right here. Oh! This is my favorite! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Michael took your weird takoyaki. That was so yummy, I ate them all! But now I'm thirsty. Maiko looks as if she wants something. Get it yourself, lazy bitch. Huh? I still get the sense that someone is following me. There's someone over there. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Oh my god, what a creep. Damn, I missed my chance to talk to her. All I seem to do these days is follow her around. What should I do? Stop being so creepy, for starters. Is there anything here I can click on? Relationship fortune, 100 yen. Picture someone you are tied to in a social link, and your relationship will become more intimate. If your bond has been reversed, it may be mended. Time will pass as you read it. <gasps> Would you like to draw one? Yes! Yukari! Uh, female. Yukari! You drew a fortune, hoping to deepen the bond between you. You hear a divine message. Blessings to the believer! 
You feel that the rift between you and Yukari has been healed? Yes! Lovers is no longer reversed. Today's luck is, according to the fortune, you will have fair luck. Money may also be in your future. You just found 1,000 yen. Did I find it or did I steal it from like the offertory box? I don't know. I won't judge. Okay, if Z wants to be a little thief, then that's oh. up to him. Hey, Ken. How you doing, fuck boy? Oh, that's right. I should have made you some chicken noodle soup for your cold. Sorry I didn't think about it sooner. Next time you get sick, remind me. Yes, bae. I promise I will, bae. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over to the next day, talk to Yukari, make sure things are Gucci, and then I'll be satisfied. Ugh. I am so glad that I found that thing at the shrine. Because <laughs> if I didn't, I would have never known how to reverse the social links. Today is a national holiday. There's no school. Oh, okay. So I guess I have to wait for Yukari then. It's gonna be weird. So let's go downstairs. Maybe we can actually talk to her. You never know, guys. Yukari! Oh, that's right. Oh, she's talking about chicken noodle soup. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back. Today's a holiday, so let's go exploring a little bit. Maybe we might run into something or someone that can, you know, raise up our social link or teach us something cool. So let's go to the shrine again. Maybe we'll see something. Nope, just the girl, the creepy weirdo stalker, the girl that is thirsty, and she wants something fizzy. All right, you know what? We're going to get her something fizzy. I know that there are vending machines over, I think, Iwatodai Station or Port Island. I don't know, they seem kind of the same to me. But let's go to eat a Todai. Yes, I think I picked the right one. Alright, so vending machine, vending machine. Where would a vending machine be? Hey, you there, come on over. My takoyaki is delicious and only 400 yen. No, 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 no. I need a drink. Oh, I see. Uh, where can I find a drink? Maybe it'll be upstairs? Ah, nose it, you guys. Mmm. <laughs> Sweet shop. A sweet scent is drifting out the door. Nope. That's not it. What about you? Wakatsu? There you go! A vending machine! It's a vending machine. Would you like to buy a drink? Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. Bower Bar? 1-Up? Yes, 1-Up. It's like the game equivalent of 7-Up, which is fizzy because it is a soda. Obtain 1-Up. All right, now let's go back and see if the girl would drink this. All right, here you go, you nasty little girl. I'm so thirsty. I want something fizzy. Wait, give it to her. What? One up is supposed to be fizzy, right? Fuck. Okay, I'm going to buy the other drinks there, and she better take one of them. Obtain Bower Bar. Okay, I bought Bower Bar and Nasty. If she doesn't take any of this, I'm going to throw this at her damn head. Take it, girl. Take it. No, you're not going to take it? Why? The water looks crystal clear. Why won't you take it? It's an offertory box. Would you like to leave a donation? Yeah. I know it increases your academics. Yay. Okay, so... I don't know. She wants something fizzy, so I need to find something fizzy. Hey, hey what's up, man? Do you know anything fizzy, man? Because I don't know. Let's check if there are vending machines at Pelonia Mall. If there aren't, then maybe I need to check Port Island the next day. Nope, there isn't a vending machine over here. Maybe there's something inside the pharmacy. I know you can make weapons here, but maybe you can find something. Let's see, buy... Muscle drink? No. No, this can't be it. Damn. Hmm. I am confused, guys.